save the king. Everybody. Yes, like good morning. Like good morning, everybody. Sorry, my mood just drastically dropped from a. And my mood dropped from a four to a two. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? Two from a four to a two. I was already on the edge. <laughs> now what? Uh, literally. But you're on a four out of how many? Yeah, how out many? Of, out of ten. For Below average oh. beginning for me. Not a good start to the show. As the titles are rolling, I get this message from Matt. As the beginning of the show begins, oh, sorry, I won't be able to do your <laughs> teleprompter today. Sorry. What? We'll try, we'll try. He's gonna try. Look at this, he's doing it right now. In How's fact, that? what I'm saying right now hmm. is in the teleprompter. I'm only, the whole show now is teleprompted. We, everything I say has been pre-written by Team of writers, non-WGA writers, scab, not scabs, just young writers and AI. The show is completely <laughs> written. We could probably uh, AI the sh shit out of this show. I mean, it's basically very similar. A lot of lot of trends that keep things going. The we, whole we repeat stories a lot too. Yeah. Already, so. Uh, so that, what I'm looking at is the, is the fake ad, which will happen later oh, in the show. Very distracting to try to read How's the size, though? Can size is it? not going to be workable. Not it's not workable at all. It's, it needs to go up 10%, which is where my mood will go. How about this? Computers. That's way too small. Look at the... Would you be listen? Would you still watch this show at this right, point? I don't know. I'm already would zoned out? out here. I'm just like, <laughs> like just looking through my you files imagine. here. imagine. We ask people to pay for this? Like, why, yeah. Why? Do why? People, that should be the topic today. Why do you listen to this show? <laughs> yeah, why do you still why? listen? Why Let's get a back? caller and find out. Let's take a Zoomer and why? find out why. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> what? what the hell is your problem? Monique, Why? you speak for all audience members. Please the question why? is why. Um, you guys bring joy to my life every Thursday or whenever, whatever day of the week you're on. Is that true? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Stop thank it. you. Dick. The That's the longest. <laughs> That's a long drop. It was really, really drop in there. I would say there's an inverse relationship between Tim's misery and the audience's joy, perhaps. Are yeah, you taking pleasure so. in my that, pain? Yeah, that makes sense. Monique? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. My... My pain amuses you. Yes. Not on. You're just so comical about it. Uh, well, I try I'm to. Sorry. I try to put a positive spin. <laughs> you know what I saw the other day? Uh, the, somebody tagged me. God damn it! They hmm. tagged me in what is it? Insane Johnny or whatever? It's like one of these meme accounts. <laughs> Insane Johnny rules, by the way. That's fine. <laughs> well, they took a picture of me with a, a promo is. shot. If you look it up on Instagram, you'll see it. It's me uh, uh, with a big giant. Uh, suit on and it says David Byrne under it. It's like, whatever, it's pretty innocuous. It's fine, I mean, great. Love the exposure. <laughs> but down, and everyone's, the comments are nice. And somebody tagged me, that's why I see it. So 
Bing, 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 nice, bing, bing. Oh, they're, they're making odd cinema references. Bing, 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 down the line. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. And then someone goes, Tim is, is one of the most, un, has to be one of the most unlikable people ever. Monique, how's that? How that sit that, with you? Will you please like me? <laughs> That's terribly cruel. I'm, I'm sorry that people are rude on the internet like that. Yes. Well, thank you, Monique, for clearing up uh, you like me? why you watch the show. And I'm going to take You're your welcome. word for it. Where are you calling from, by the way? Uh, I'm in Hereford, Arizona, Herford. a town of hey? 10,000 people. Hereford? Hereford, yes. Well, now, this, what is this? Uh, what, what is this? Some, some, some settler uh, comes over there. He wants to start an Ivy League school. He's like, that's called his Hereford. 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 <laughs> I went to Har Harvard. <laughs> what about Hisford, huh? What about us? Oh, it's it's spelled here, H E R E. Hereford. Hereford. Yeah. Uh, or, I, or, I, I think so that's where they parked the Ford. That's, like, right, well, that's where I was going, yeah. by the way. Yeah, Hereford. <laughs> that's got to be it. I don't know the origin at all. All right. Well, we have. Thank you so <laughs> much. Did, Let me begin Nixon the call show. His, how did Nixon call his oh, vice you. president? Okay. <laughs> Hereford. <laughs> 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 That's good, Vic. Thank you. There's the insane. Let's find that. Oh my post. God! Yeah. Let's Th find the. It uh, does have. The comment. It does have a burn. Well, that's what they do. I, yeah. You know they. Oh, I don't oh, mind. This is what, no, yeah. Deeply unlikable. Step back. Josh Adams loves this stuff. What does he say? He submits to this. Tim is a deeply unlikable human being. Oh my goodness. I don't like that. I mean, but you were defended. Hot piss on the tip of my lips. Yeah, come on. Someone else. Well. Oh, speaking of which, we should show that. Our my uh, my friend Ellie, my bass player, our bass player, Vic. My bass player. Uh, I know. My woman bass player. My woman bass player. <laughs> female bass player. Uh, female bass player. Female bass player. She was at this weird hippie uh, convention. Oh no, it was like a uh, festival. Oh, it was a uh, Coachella, wasn't it? No, female it wasn't Coachella. Bonnaroo. I don't know. No, it was just up in northern Northern California. Female and <laughs> and. <laughs> Up about three in the morning or whatever, no, whatever it was, middle of the night, there's some impromptu Yellow River Boys concert going on up there. Do you have it, man? Can we so play that? I never got any video. Oh, my. Oi, oi, oi. I let her clean my piss up. <laughs> <laughs> Vic has it. Can you, can you get it over to Matt? Uh, yeah, I'll get it to Matt. Here, hang on. It's in there. Hang tight. Text, Andy drank text his text own piss. No, 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 no. Don't no, bother no. Oh, her. I got it. How dare you? I got it. Um, here it comes. But anyway, Wait, that's not it. You'll copy, see it. Copy the wrong. <laughs> Thanks for the. Can I, I copy the wrong. Can I start the show? Copy an emoji by. First of all, I want to welcome Doug. We're not Lewis. live. Oh no! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hey, I want to welcome Doug to the show. Good horning. Hi, howdy ho. All right, got that out of the way. Point. Couple of uh, oh. we got a big show today. By the way, let's start the show. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Calling in, zooming in. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> zooming in. From tell the story, he's alive zooming again. in. Imagine Johnny Carson dealing with Zoom. Here's Johnny. Vic, you hear this? Zo uh, Michael Ian Black will be mm. zooming in from uh, Italy. Italy, Italy, and we're gonna find out what he is doing there. We don't Back know. Oh boy, <laughs> aren't you excited? My entire life Home right Black. now is about owning the libs. That's, That's it. right. Home Black water, keep on rolling. White supremacist. <laughs> and then Tim Bernardes. Oh my goodness. Holy, oh holy my moly. goodness. Tim Bernardes, another Tim that I happen to respect. And uh, I'll tell you what, we saw, we were warming up with him. We're going to do a special little song at the end of the show today. But uh, he, this kid, Mato, all the way from Brazil, the talent coming out of him, me oh my oh. We're gonna, you're not going to want to miss a second of this. But I want to start, first of all, I want a, a little public service announcement here. Uh, our friend uh, over at Christian Nightmares, uh, got his. This is the second time this has happened, folks. Oh Jesus! <laughs> he got his account on Instagram suspended 
uh, band because oh. all he does is he finds oh. these lunatics out there oh, and he Jesus. takes the little clips of them and puts it up for our amusement. Oh. And as a public service. I can't believe this. To show how wacky things have gotten over there with the Christian right. My I'm not own. ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian. Oh. These people are bananas. Uh, but they've got the new a new oh, account oh, going. And it's Christian underscore. Love the underscore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that helps. It's separate. It gives a little yeah. visual God space. God bless the inventor of the underscore. Christian underscore nightmares. Hallelujah. Okay. And he's got all kinds of things Jesus going Christ. on. Christ. Let all liberty kinds of reign. talent going up there. Amen. Amen. You know, I'm working my way through this Hitler book or this uh, Nazi book. Oh, the book. seasons, they do change. This guy was wacko, this Hitler. <laughs> He was nuts. What a what a deranged guy he turned out to be. This <laughs> turned out to me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Really? What, what what's up with this guy now? What well, did he do? Hitler. I didn't know so much of this stuff, but I wanted to share just this one little nugget I got from the book. This is the rise and fall of the Third Reich. Uh huh. Doug. Yeah. Steve Reich. No. Oh. This is about I don't know <laughs> two years maybe 1942 or so. It's about. It, it's this. Well, the period of time I'm talking about here is when he decides to invade the Soviet Union. Big mistake. They get all the way in. They get about 20 miles outside of Moscow. Then winter sets in. My Führer. Guess what? They're not ready for the fucking. They're not ready for the winter. These dimwits. These numskulls. They doped. They didn't bring winter clothes, Vic. Mm -hmm. And so they freeze. They, these guys are like dropping like flies. These German soldiers. Dropping like flies. Bunch of dips. <laughs> yeah. Probably my like, Oof. probably my great grandfather yeah. or something. <laughs> no, but the funniest part. Yeah, the funniest, not the funniest part, but talk about, talk about the height of derangement. This Hitler. You know what he does? You know what he does, Doug? What does he do? He passes that this pronouncement, this law, or this basic, this decree, which I should be doing, honestly. <laughs> Is, and he says, I alone mm. will decide who lives or dies in my country. Forget laws. He goes, he is the arbiter of whether... Like, he basically <laughs> has made this decision as the head of... Well, someone's got to say it. But he, <laughs> someone's got to decide. He says, my decision does, uh, supersedes all laws for whether you as a citizen of Germany live or die. That him. And then, you know, I'll see that when things are going sour with the Russian army, dude goes, you know who's in charge of the army now? Me. I'm, the, I'm like, I'm like the, there's like a person that's like the head of the army. You know, you've got a president, and then he's got the various. Yeah, he's got the, yeah. Head of the Navy, head uh -huh. of the army. He's like, no, I'm the head of the Navy. I'm the head <laughs> of the army now, too. I'm the president. What a bananas character this guy. He sounds like a real sour kraut. Yeah. <laughs> But the big news today. <laughs> I don't want to make light of Hitler. God forbid we do that. But I mean, just a total um, ends up being a total loser when the, when you look at it from the macro vision. Hey, there he is. I got Doug in the mirror, by the way. I love it. I forgot about that mirror. I got a mirror here. I can now. look right at him. He's kind of weird, actually. Like he flopped. <laughs> I'm just looking at you. He flopped, uh, Doug. Nobody's flopped like this, Hitler. I gotta take a picture. Nobody's <laughs> flopped like him. And we were, we, we Tim, look out. A... <laughs> we have to keep our eye out for future Hitlers because he did a tremendous amount of damage uh -huh. with the concentration and camps. The, and then he ruined a mustache. War. Like, I, I, I like the mustache. I like that they call it a chaplain like stash. Angle oh, it's you took. beautiful. I love it. I love that mustache. I mean, that's amazing to completely ruin a very simple. Facial hair, you know what I mean? Like, I could do that. That's something I could actually grow. That kind of thing. But you can't. Now I can't. Why can't we? Why do we let? Can. Why do we let the bad guy win? It's true. Let's grow the stashes in solidarity. Let's Matt, are you it. in? Well, it didn't stop Ron Mail from Sparks. He still. Oh. Had and it didn't start stop uh, Gigi Allen's brother. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes those guys were doing it in, I mean, in, 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 in as sort of like an ironic statement about Hitler, right? True. Kind of. Hopefully. But the big, no, I want to talk about the big news, because Hitler's old news. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this real quick. If, if somebody took that 
Hitler mustache, and they grew it long, kind of like the guitarist from Anthrax. <laughs> oh yeah. And braided it over the mouth. <laughs> Would that be cool? Who's that guy? I think he was in uh, Scott. Something. The guy Scott that Ian. had the Scott Ian. Was it in yeah, Motley this... Crue? The guy Mick Mars. He had the oh, just like the God. whiskers, like the. Cat. Oh wait, yeah. who was our favorite guy? Uh, the animal, the animal from Twisted Sister. Remember that guy? Oh, oh my God, we should pull up pictures the of cat? him. Not the cat. No, the no. animal. He's got really good he's facial hair. The guy that the guy yeah. Yeah. painted on. Yeah. Him. <laughs> Find look the animal and Twisted Sister. He's great. Oh, Twisted right. Sister. Yeah. Right. No. The big story that's going to kind of—I think we've decided that this is going to kind of have to play throughout the show today. This the breaking news. <laughs> Old news, but good news. Uh, Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that Richard begins Dreyfus. with that. <laughs> Richard Dreyfus. Uh, what am I, Hitler talking? Not just Hitler. Um, you, yeah. uh, you, you're, an, you're an interviewer, and Hitler's now he's in 1975, right? Okay. And you ask me. I'm Hitler. You're Hitler. Yeah. There you go. Now you're catching on. You ask Hitler who his favorite actor is that year. Uh, mine fewer. Uh, <laughs> Doss is your favorite actor. This Dreyfus! Richard <laughs> Dreyfus! <laughs> what film was your favorite Dreyfus film performance? <laughs> What film? Close Encounters. Close Encounters. Close Encounters. Close Encounters. Richard Dreyfus. I like the the uh, the slur there. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, that's bad. Sorry. Take re retract. Uh. No. No. Here's the thing, folks. Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> He doesn't really have a lift. I don't know why people do him do him like that. Like, <laughs> and you do Richard Dreyfuss, <laughs> you have a lift. But he doesn't really have a lift anymore. But Richard Dreyfuss was on Bill Maher. He's like a one step away from Bugs Bunny. <laughs> no, no, not Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Elmer, uh, Daffy Duck. Daffy, Daffy. Okay. oh, interesting. I think our friend Eric Bowser was saying that you do Richard Dreyfuss when you do Daffy mm -hmm. Duck. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. He may have but said folks, that. Richard Dreyfuss was on Bill Maher, and boy, did it get out of control. Let's take a look. <laughs> How are you? How are you? How are well, you? it's been a long time. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. the show we did together? Which one? The Funny You Don't Look 200? Or my yeah. Look at this, show? Well, I mean, 87. Yeah. This, the posture. <laughs> Richard's I mean, this posture. Is the start. Yeah, this is the very beginning. Yeah, okay. So keep, yeah, this is how the show <laughs> he begins. He didn't sink into he that yeah, position. He started. Show. He just got the there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who I walked mean, in first? <laughs> Dreyf, they said Dreyfus there down, and they, yeah, and then Bill like, comes in. Like, and what, what, this is like pillow. the opposite of a, of like a traditional interview where the Bill should be sitting there, and then Richard comes in. But yeah, that's him actually showing up for the first time. Do you think uh, Mar like gives him like half a roofie when they get in? <laughs> It appears that way it's because like, it's probably just in the air. He doesn't want to be Throughout fully the next, out. For the next hour, Dreyfus begins melting mm. into this chair in a most unbelievable way. I've never seen so many pillows. <laughs> I keep going. Seen it at all? I saw it in 1980. Then there's this angle. angle. <laughs> Who's this flattering that's, for? That's where they started again. Like, that's, <laughs> is this, uh, what's that called, Big Brother? <laughs> that table is a mess, too. <laughs> so... There's so much gold in this. We're going to have to space it out a little bit because there's too much to get to. But keep going and see what happens. 87. I mean, since then? No. Have you? Yeah, shit. Oh. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, like Norman Desmond? You're running it in your yeah. library every night? <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready for my close um, to Jamil. But Bill no, has yet I, to strike I'm, any chemistry with any of his guests on Club, Club about Random. Do you notice best, that? There's constant, like right from the beginning, there's right. this misunderstanding there's kind of this sort of hostile confusion about whatever anyone says. <laughs> what? Like, ask me a simple question. You're my you're my improv playmate today. Okay. Though, since I have the mirror. <laughs> so, guess, when did you convert this garage into? What a you, wait, wait. What are you talking about? This garage? Yeah. Well, did um, you convert it? But into you know this already. <laughs> like that's the t tone of <laughs> Bill Maher. Like if you're not, like I get it. I'm I'm no, not always in a great mood doing this show, but. 
But I like in this one though, it actually works because like Dreyfus' stories are going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they start he starts by digging all himself a hole and then it makes no sense of that. So all right. you'll see. But then it gets dark and strange. Sexually. Yeah, we'll get in do you want to get into some of that? Let's do it. Yeah. I hate I mean, I just to just dive. I mean, we have to do city that we have to do the show needs to be longer, we can, that's yeah. all it is. Just dive in here. Who cares? <laughs> what do you think about when you masturbate? <laughs> Isn't that the ultimate question that could tell you what really a person is about? What do you think about when you masturbate? Does anybody want to know what I Richard Dreyfus thinks about, about when he masturbates? No. Is anybody That's in the why. fucking world. And how does that tell you about that person at all? I don't understand Bill's but angle on it. Unfortunately, Bill's uh, yeah. opened up a Pandora's yes. box here because uh, Richard's answer is uh, a big old He's red He's wanted flag. to be asked yeah. this for a long time. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank long you for asking time. me. I, I <laughs> It's a good question. That, I don't know, Look how high the pillow is up there. <laughs> Fair thought. Look how low he's already got. I thought of my mother. So, it looks actually could tell you. really uncomfortable to be that low. I know. I wouldn't want to be in that posture for more than 30 it's seconds. It's like he's holding himself up. Like <sighs> That if I had so thought much, so much, uh, So much weight on his knees. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mother, I would be thinking. <laughs> Isn't that the ultimate question that could tell you what really a person is about? What do you think about when you masturbate, Richard Dreyfus? I never thought about my mother. Uh, well, what? okay. What? Good yeah. to know. <laughs> Keep going. So it's not that. Well, I hope and not. <laughs> I never thought that if I had thought of my mother, I would be thinking incestuous thoughts. All right. That well, never occurred to me. Like, and yet, okay, incestuous we're just going. thoughts was the engine that drove my masturbation. Sucky, sucky, lovey, lovey. Really? Mommy. Yes. Incestuous I, with who? Who's, who crossed that street first? Y yeah. Um, Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, nobody wants you... to know any of this, <laughs> but Bill. <laughs> let's talk about what it was like to work on Jaws. <laughs> All right, keep going. Brought it up. But yeah, like, no, if it's not your think, mother, I, well, how, how many people could it be? I mean, I, the roofies are really sister. taking the early <laughs> years. I thought about very little else. Not like, grandma. Who am I thinking of? <laughs> who, who, who are you thinking of? Who am I thinking of? I, I, Nobody I'm knows. Asking, who and I get Bill, Bill is sort of just like, I don't know where this is going. I want to get out of it. And then the visual with the hand. <laughs> oh, it's, it's coming it's up. It's just oh, gross. Get ready. Oh. He just did it because a you know, Inquiring well, minds want to Well, I mean, yeah. just, you know, you know that porn today is All right, like... Then Bill goes on his little fucking soapbox about porn. About very little else. Stroking a salami. Who am I All thinking right. of? Right, so <laughs> so <laughs> folks, who, who are you thinking of? This goes... I, I, nobody I'm knows. And I get Bill. Of? Bill is sort of just like, I don't know where this is going. I want to get well, out of it. And then the visual with the hand. Oh my God, sorry guys. Pretty horny. I might have done uh, that. If you want to sabotage the show, just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the uh, city, of the, yeah, city of the day. Yeah, city of the day. We're going to show. Yeah, we're well, going to show more because where the, that interview ends up going, is so beautiful. It's <laughs> the ending of that is one of my favorite things I've seen in a long time. And if you think that Richard stays on that chair, <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got another thing coming. Is he slides right off, and we're gonna watch it <laughs> later in the show. Uh, of the day. Sorry, so loud. City of, the City of the day is brought to you by. Uh, City of the day is brought to you by. Hey. The City of. Hey. Hey. Can't afford triple A, but still want roadside assistance? Try A. A is one guy with a truck named Angus, but he goes by A for short. Got a flat tire? A will come out and put your spare on for about 12 bucks. Might take a while because A likes to frequent the bars along the interstate, but A is always standing by. A usually has a gallon of gas in his trunk and he's got some rope too. Uh, a, will haul your car, a will haul your car back to the twisted spoke or the rusty horse for free if you buy him a boiler maker. So next time take, next time your car takes a shit, call A at 395-247-4424 or channel 21 on your CB radio. A, because it's cheaper than triple. 
Now check out this 10 second jingle. All right, let's pick our city of the day. Very nice. I made it shorter for you, Tim. Gary. <laughs> Gary. It's, it's Gary man. I have I have some cuts, but we can talk about it later. <laughs> More cuts. <laughs> Sup, fellows. Party, puppet party, puppet party, puppet party. Yes, puppet and where party. are you calling from? What is the city of the day? Auburn, New York. Auburn, New York. That's a new one. I think that's a, I think there's somebody out there making a a, vi a virtual map or an interactive map showing all the cities of the day, and I think that'll be a new pin. Isn't that something? Yeah. Uh, how can, Pretty I, nice can I help you with anything today? Because we do have to get to Michael Lean and Blank. Yeah, I have a sort of random question. You you went we're near Syracuse and, and you talked about going to a pizza shop that as you ended up ordering like 40 pizzas or some shit too. And I want to know so bad what pizza shop that was. Ooh, I don't know mm. if I can I'll have to do a little research on that because mm -hmm. uh, we were just strolling around and walked into it. So I don't, I could, I could go back and look in my, uh, you know, pictures. Probably, I think that, you know, your photos are the best way to find out information about where you've been. I took a picture <laughs> there. I can look on the map and see it right there. So I don't have an yes. answer for you right now, but for, if you sign up for Patreon, are you a Patreon member? Uh, not yet. Okay. I love finding out these people that are watching the show illegally, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but I will provide that answer yeah, for I you. On my... on, usually, I was like, usually I'm, I mean, I am at work right now, but usually I can't do this live. But I went on lunch and saw Vic tearing up some solos. I was like, oh shit, I think I'm, this is the exact time I can watch this live. Hell yeah. So, so Tim Heidecker's, uh, that's my name. Uh, Tim, yeah. My Saturday morning. <laughs> My Saturday morning heard. blog, which I put out basically every Saturday, and it's a lot of fun to read. I'll provide that for you, that information, if I have it, uh, this weekend. Uh, if you sign up at patreon.com slash office hours live, you get access to that and so much more. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, I love thanks that. for having me, folks. The, the, the story in question, uh, Vic, you weren't there, I think. I don't think We I were was. getting a slice in Syracuse, and the, the baseball stadium there, the Mets affiliate minor league team, had ordered something like 40 pies, for, which they sell oh, at the baseball that, yeah. game. Yeah. And this guy, I have my own pizza oven in my house. This guy was <laughs> losing his, the guy working there was fucking losing it. I don't know how we're going to do it! <laughs> you know, it was that. It was just like, poof! Well, I don't know. You're going to have to tell him it's going to be an hour. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> sounds right. Sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> Boy, are you kidding me? 40? Fuck that. Anyways. It smells so good of all that cheese. Yeah. Our very special guest, Michael, is here. All right, let's get Michael Ian Black on the show. Never had him on the show before. How do you like that? Mr. Michael. Mr. Mike. That's not Michael Ian Black. That's it. Oh, shoot. There he is. What's this about? Are you blessing this time? Now, can you ease up on the, because he's on Zoom, just ease up on the drop. I'm done. Hold on. <laughs> that was real hard. This oh. is how we say a buena sera, buena sera buena in Italian. Buena, buena, sera. buena sera. Buena sera means uh, good afternoon, good evening for you to be a buongiorno, Mr. Bon Look at you. Buongiorno, Mr. Tim. Now, where's your Panama? I could see you in a Panama hat right now. I don't have Panama hats in Italy, which well, is where I am. I mean, but they you know, the, that Panama. style, the straw, the white straw hat. A guy I think you might be thinking of gondoliers, gondoliers. Uh, which would be in Venezia, Venice. And um, where are you right now? Roma. Roma. See. Si. Why don't si. we say, this is a good question for you. This might be the first question I ask. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the first question I ask. Why Great. don't, uh, do you mind if I ask it? Can I get that was your first question. Ah, shit. You gotcha. Why don't we say Roma? 
Well, what, who? Who's we? Americans. Oh, we say Rome. Why don't we say Roma? We should, and we should roll our R's when we say it. It's the best way to say it when you're in the eternal city of Roma. Well, let me, it's too close to, to aroma. Aroma. Stink, it's too, oh, you know? so this is Vic yeah. Burgers hey, here. Michael. I don't know if you know Vic Burgers. I know Vic. I mean, oh, I've never met Vic. Yeah. I don't think in person, but I'm a yeah. big fan. Oh, thank oh, you. That's oh, nice wow. to hear. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Vic's argument, which I think is dubious, <laughs> is that it sounds too close to aroma. Smat, the, mm -hmm. Just the word for smell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, now, I will what is your you thoughts on that, Mike? As you stroll through the streets of the Eternal City in Roma, you will often get whiffs of maybe some garlic, some onion, oh, yes. some vino, some oh, yes. uh, some uh, tiramisu, some uh, uh, wings of the buffalo, macaroni. <laughs> The macaroni. macaroni. So you'll get these aromas. Uh -huh. To me, that's not a bad thing no. if you associate Rome now, with aroma. Now, you got to tell us what you're doing over there. You must be doing a movie or a TV show. There's a lot of activity going on in Italy. Doing, what are you doing uh, over there in, in Italy? All of the above, Tim. Movies, TV shows, Broadway plays, <laughs> dinner theater, circus. How do you have time for circus? How do you have time mm -hmm. for all that? You make time. If you love the art, you make time. Um, well, I don't believe you. I'm not doing anything. I'm unemployed, <laughs> living at home. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Why? What? Where? When? Let's pick one. Your choice. Um, you, you want to start with why? Yeah. Because uh, I have two children. They are now college age. They are off. They are away. Uh, uh, I'm still a young man. My you wife are. and I were like, hey, we have, we, I'm a young, Tim, I'm a young man. You look great. My wife, thank you. I do. My wife and I have no real commitments to anything at the moment. So we thought, well, why not just, why not? We talked about it for years. Why not go spend some time in Europe? So Living we came abroad. To, exactly right. And, and we say woman. We say woman now. We don't say abroad. She's a oh, woman. Ooh, I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah. You're living a, so you would say you're living a woman. That's right. Is she with you or did you go by herself? And we're, we're no longer together. Oh. <laughs> no, you're with your wife. Your here. wife is with you. Not not yes. physically right now, but you're she's in, she's in the other room. Yes. Spirit. How are how are you handling uh so you're are you enjoying your your time together? It's been great. We've had a we've had we've been here for two months. We're here for another roughly month. And then we're going to London, England. Not London, England is where we're going next. Well that's the a mediocre British accent, I have to say. Uh, but you'll get better. Yeah. I'm a fucking <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, okay, so what do you got? Like an Airbnb there? Like what's the... That's right, an Airbnb. It's a two-bedroom apartment in the uh, Trastevere section of Roma, uh, which means across the Tiber. So ah, the Tiber yes. is right over there, and then we're right across it. In the Fantastic. Trastevere now, section of is this financially responsible? This uh, no, oh no, okay. no, 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 Tim, no. <laughs> so, That's why I came on here. I needed the money. <laughs> Matt, are we paying him to appear? No, we can. Is there an? Uh, we I certainly didn't, can. I didn't realize we had an appearance fee for Zoom calls. There's an honorarium. <laughs> an honorarium. Okay, is that through SAG? Uh, we are not signatories. Are no. you a SAG member? Can, are you? Have you maintained your SAG membership? I am, a, I am a member of STAG, yes. Okay, so you can jump right back into the acting scene whenever, whenever that opportunity presents itself. Well, it hasn't presented itself for about three years now. But three yes, years. whenever it does prevent itself. Now, wh what, what is that about? It, do, do you think, uh, I mean, you're clearly talented. You, you're, you're, you're looking good. Um, have you turned down things? <laughs> oh, you know me better than that, Tim. No, I haven't turned down anything. <laughs> Okay, so so have you got have you auditioned and then not gotten things? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of those. Many times. Have you many times self taped? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Have you self -taped, self taped for things that you thought, hmm, this isn't going to turn out good? Every one of them. Mm. And, and, you, and I've been correct. And have you self taped? Uh, 
you finish the self tape and you go, hmm, that wasn't the best I could have done, but I'm done working no. on this. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, I go, oh, I think that's the best I can do. <laughs> There's no, there's, it's never like, no, I, I can really nail this. There's never any of that. That's as good it's as like, it's going to get. get about, I get about 65, 68% of the way there. And I'm like, well, I, it's just not going to get any better. Right. So off she goes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and then I never hear from them again. You never, there's no call back. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> there's nothing. It's, it's silence. Well, what about all your friends in show business? You got David Wayne. We're Michael no longer Schultz. speaking. You're, that's not true. That's not true. Okay. Good. No. Because <laughs> I would hate to hear that. Um, yeah, but he, I think he's as unemployed as I am right now. He's, he seems to show up on stuff. Know, I don't know. Well, he does. And he's directing. Why didn't you direct? Yeah. All right. I mean, no, I'm asking. Why earlier, like years ago, why didn't you say, you know what? I'm going to start directing because who knows how long this acting thing is going to go. I will direct now. Well, I did direct a film, which uh, Haza, one of your viewers, is holding up right now. It was released as Wedding Days. It was shot as The Pleasure of Your Company. And uh, I this did was, write and direct that film. This was released as Jason a... Jason Biggs and Isla Fisher. This was released as a movie. Uh, well, define released. Uh, came out for us to view. Sort of. Okay. <laughs> in America. Sort of. Oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. That, that looks like a movie. It, it does. It, it looks like a movie, but it's not, it's not, uh, as we would say in Roma, it's not molto bene. It's not very good. <laughs> 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 well, this, this is, a, that, that, that's, that's unusual. I would think Jason Biggs doesn't do stinkers. Uh, I think he's done his fair share, okay. including mine. Whose and... decision was it to do the American Pie font? Is that to, was that a sort of a <laughs> try to try to con people into watching the movie? That was MGM's decision. They they snapped it up, and uh, believe me, the last thing I wanted was that poster, yeah. that font, or that title. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was out of my hands at that point. I think. I mean, you don't, what do you need advice from me for? But I think I'm smelling a memoir. Where's the memoir? You, I've written three, but uh, thanks. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you've not written, well, I know you've written a lot of books, but they're defined as well, they, memoirs they, to you? They could all, they could all, they could all probably be lumped into memoir. The first one was called, uh, You're Not Doing It Right. The second one was called Naval Gazing. And the third one is called uh, A Better Man. Or better, uh, is that what it's called? Yeah, Better Man. Yeah. I found a better man. It's a Pearl Jam. Uh, I don't know memoir. what you're referencing. Okay. It's a Pearl Jam song, I think, right? So, yeah, of course. Um, is it the politics? Did you get to it? Because this is my fear. I always, I dabble into politics. I get, uh, I get in, you know, angry about things. I speak my mind. And then I start, then I, then I go, well, am I going to be blacklisted from the business because I speak my mind? Is that what happened with you? I think so. When, when, <laughs> that's easy. When it, I went, you sleep at I night knowing full, it's not about your talent. No, no, no. When I went full MAGA, I think I did get some pushback. <laughs> you didn't go full MAGA. Get out of here. You're a gun nut in the opposite way. You're all obsessed with these guns and how people shouldn't use them anymore. Is that right? That's right. That's that's right. That is nut. what I am. I'm a repeal the Second Amendment guy. Yeah, you're. And a, there aren't a lot of us. There aren't a lot of us out there. But you're I'm, a I'm a proud one. Listen, I'm all yeah. for I'm all for repealing the Second Amendment. I I don't I don't have some kind of a, uh, like zealous uh, Orthodox uh, love for these founding fathers or these this Constitution. I, everything's open for debate. Everything's open to be fixed or changed. Whatever uh, this originalism shit, which is just, it's just. For, it's bananas. Life, things change, and like, let's keep rolling. Let's change. Let's grow. Let's get better. I like your attitude. I like what you're saying. I'm, I'm with you. I'm on board <laughs> for all of it. Uh, we all can grow, and we all can learn. Mike, uh, let's take a call. Do, would you take a call? Well, actually, it's my, uh -oh. it's, someone it's paid ten dollars to ask you a question. Whoa. Someone paid ten dollars, and now we'll we're, pass not, along. We'll that's pass gonna that's gonna go into my, your honorarium. What's my cut of that? 
That is my cut of hundred percent. Hundred percent. Well, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hold Thanks on. Thanks for taking my question. There, there's an honor. <laughs> there's an honorarium that was negotiated, and that's what you get. And the ten goes to, to us. Not on a not in addition to the honorarium. And you get what you get, and you don't get upset. <laughs> All right, that's a good question. <laughs> now, do you want to push back on that, or you want to move on? We can move on. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's pull it up. Can we pull it up in so Tim's the question prompter? Is, the question is just coming in. All right. Uh, I saw Michael Ian Black at Stevens Auditorium in Ames, Iowa, around twenty, around two thousand five, and he had a huge crowd. Huh? I, I'd like some evidence of that. Does he still tour? No. <laughs> That's the question. I can and I can answer it. That show was the first time I think I had done solo stand-up, like maybe the very first time. And because uh, and at the time, like we were hosting Stella, yeah. which was a, a three-man show. Is Stella, okay, finish this thought, then I have a Stella question. And, uh, and, and, but I was on the VH1. I love the show at the oh, time. Oh God, yes. You were all popular. over that. Yeah. So, yeah. so, uh, the, uh, some lady was like, Hey, you should come do stand up." And I was like, I didn't really do that. And she's like, well, we'll pay you $15,000. And it was like, now I, I now I do stand up. So, <laughs> <laughs> and there were like a thousand people there and I had to perform for like an hour and I'd oh, never done God. anything. Which so it was like, I, and I, uh, uh, I, it, it was uh, it was very scary, but I think I did a fine job. And yes, I still tour. And from I think there were like a thousand, fifteen hundred kids there. And then over the years, what I've discovered is the audience uh, that comes to see me keeps getting fewer and oh. fewer and fewer. I see. Um, Where do you think that's going to end up going? That that do you think you'll see a rise? No, no, there's no, no indication. No, no indication not, like, that there's any kind of leveling off at the bottom. And no then indication. There's no indication that I've hit rock bottom yet. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Um, I'm not like you. I can't show up in Europe with a band and 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 the two Tims and, and get you know hordes of people coming out and screaming obscenities at me. I don't have I don't that. Do you, want an, do you want an opener? He seems like he's available. Well, the, the, the problem with openers is I my show's already two and a half hours. Just me and my all my ideas and music huh. and everything. So an opening act doesn't really work. And it would be embarrassing for Mike Lee and Black to open up for me. I don't think that's something you 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 desire. I have Is there an honorarium? Uh, there would be um, a small fee. <laughs> Vic. But you'd have Let's to work out your own more. travel and everything. Uh, Vic. All right. Um, my question wow. about Stella. Vic. Uh, where do you um, rate that in your career? I put it. I put it right up there at the top. Me too. I love Stella. It's like my, it's maybe my favorite thing we did. Never coming back though, is it? Well, look, we're older gentlemen now with, um, with lives and children. Not, not you. No, not me. I mean, I meant the You're other. talking about the other two. I would be happy to, I would be happy to, to bring it back. But, uh, you know, Michael Schultz is now a big time Hollywood director. He doesn't, he doesn't have the time. Well, we probably need a, we no probably one's watching. Need a no one cares a, I tell you what. God bless Michael Showalter, but no one's no one cares about these movies he's doing. I mean, well, they we'll do. So, I, mean, I, I, I agree. You know, <laughs> well, and maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But they don't. But Michael is not. Michael isn't shining. Michael needs to be with you and David and be doing Stella nonstop. But if he doesn't want to do it, guess what? I'll step in. I'll be the third Stella. I'll do it. That's that's, we just need a third. And Tim, look at what happened do, when we, Curly Howard died. Mm -hmm. What did they do? They go and get gotcha. Shemp, and it was fine. Mm -hmm. And then another Curly, and then another Curly. <laughs> yeah. Joe Dorita. I'll be your Joe oh, Dorita. Joe Dorito. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do they get Comedy Central over there in Italy? Because. Um, I don't know. I don't have TV here, so I don't know what they have. What are you doing all day? Are you exploring? Do you enjoy seeing the city? There's a lot of walking, there, uh, uh, and 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 sightseeing, 
And um, a, a, a lot of times around five, six o'clock at night, we'll sit down, we'll get an Aperol spritz. I don't know, oh, if, yeah. you, I don't know mm-hmm. if you've had yourself an Aperol spritz. Oh, yes. It, it's a terrific uh, aperitif that everybody drinks here. Yes. And uh, it's, it's a light. It's I a find light it a little aperitif. bitter myself, but I guess you get. A, it can be a little bit bitter. Um, but what you find is you're drinking it. And then at the end of it, you think to yourself, hey, I'm pretty sauced. So you're and just drinking great- every night. I was in Italy a couple summers ago. Uh, of course, working on a film, uh, not there just wasting away my uh, later years in life. Thank you but so much. I have young kids, my... so I've got to, I got to put the. Put what film the... was it? Uh, it's called Spin Me Round. It's Did it ever come out? Sounds like a stinker. Uh, it came out. I'll put it that way. Show so Walter direct it. <laughs> <laughs> the great Jeff Baina. But um, I, I don't. I could say something mean, but I won't. I'll move on. Um, <laughs> let's take a Zoom call because so many people want to say hi to Michael. And I know we have, we've got, um, yeah. I don't know if you're watching the show, but we have so much, so many clips of Richard Dreyfus on Bill Maher's <laughs> show to play. It's, it, it's, we Nathaniel can do another hour looks like that. a reasonable guy. Looks Did like you have a call. question for uh, Did you ever Michael? work with Richard Dreyfus? Yeah, oh yeah, um, Dick Dreyfus and I go back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the most notable director uh, that, that, that you've worked with? Have you worked with Scorsese or uh, Spielberg or any people, anybody like that? Um, I've done a couple things with Marty. Um, no, get out of here. <laughs> All right, get, oh, give, me a, give me a zoomer. Yeah. Nathaniel. Next caller. Oh my goodness Hi. me. Hi. Hey, this guy wants to talk to you. I don't know why. I really don't. He has a name and it's Nathaniel. Hello, right. Nathaniel. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Uh, big fan. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah. I'm just wondering, uh, I guess I'm curious. I'm, I'm kind of uh, caught up in this whole writer's strike thing going on. Um, how is that? Has that affected you at all? It or, couldn't have. Um, what's your, what are your thoughts on it? Well, Tim, Tim got it exactly right. It couldn't have <laughs> because I'm unemployed. So yeah. if I were employed, perhaps something would have shut down and I would have yeah. been devastated. But uh, the timing of, of it couldn't have been better for me. Yeah. Well, the perception I, is, the perception is, well, I'm not working because there are no scripts because of the strike. That's, that's why. I can, I can now pretend that my unemployment is a principled stand that I'm taking. Right. And it's going to be fact, better when the SAG guys strike, when SAG, my, our union... Uh, and, and and when that happens, I will. Oh God, I'll, I'm also. I'm, but I'm also WJ. I imagine you are too, Tim. I am actually not. If you believe this, people don't understand this about me. I am not WGA. I never was. Wow. I never had to join. I don't know why. I talked to Eric about this the other day. He was like, "Are you in the WGA?" Like, I, no, I don't think so. Hmm. He's like, "Yeah, I don't think I'm in either. I don't know why, but it's just the facts. I'm not staff writing on fucking bones. You know what I mean?" Well, as the writer of MGM's Wedding Days, uh-huh. I had to be the writer. Who's skills. dinging, by the way? Is it the That's caller? Me. It's my... No. God damn it. It's me. It's All right. Well, me. then we're going to have to let you go, Michael. Thanks for... I, we asked you repeatedly in the pre-interview to make sure that your alerts were off. Okay? And I don't know what uh, wasn't clear I, about uh, that. I apologize. It's called a job. Um, well, it's the last time I have my intern take the pre-interview call, and uh, it won't happen. Again. Oh no, it won't happen again because we're gonna mo- we're moving on. We have a musical guest. All right, Michael, you ever run into I'm the so, Gingriches so... over there? You ever see Newt and Callie Gingrich hanging out? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. They're former, no, they, yeah. they they've got a place. So there's there's Trastevere, and then there's Lungo Tevere, which is which is on the other side of the river. And uh, yeah, I mean. It's funny when you're here, a lot of, you know, you're so happy to meet another American that a lot of the things that maybe would have take, uh, um, torn you apart when you were home go by the wayside. So Newt and, and Calissa and my wife and I, I'm not going to say we're best buddies, but we do get together sometimes. Okay, for an so you, you enjoy their company. They're, you know what? They're fun people. And, <laughs> and Newt's got a great sense of humor. And, uh, and Nudy loves going out to eat. He, he loves, loves having en- nice dinners. Enjoying a big red yes. glass of wine. You know? Well, I'm happy we to hear that because I don't, yeah. of course, like you, I don't agree with Newt Gingrich on probably anything, but I do get a little sad when I see her posts and it's just the two of them eating dinner together. And I'm like, guys, come on, mix it up. Go out with a couple. Go out with a friend. Have <laughs> you met Newt's brother, yeah. Salamander? <laughs> 
right. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian. <laughs> Unfortunately, Michael, we'll have to get your answer and your, your opinion on that at another time. <laughs> okay, that's God fine. <laughs> Sounds like you'd be available to call back in at some point in the, in the next few weeks or, or down the line. Well, is, if, if the honorarium is there, so am I. All right, Matt. Well, let's just look at our annual budget and see what we can afford. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll, we'll mark you in for the fall. Great. Thanks for having me. It was, it was a real treat. And uh, <laughs> I really felt like I got the full OHL experience. And, uh, now, and Ma now, Michael, do me a favor. And um, this isn't, this isn't uh, contractual or anything. But use your, your vast social media presence to let, let your fans and your people know that you were on the show today. Because we could use some I'm of good. those. I'm good. But thank you. <laughs> I'm good. I let thank you for doing that. My pleasure. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it smells good. All right. George I love you, Michael. Thank George you for doing this. Bye, Tim. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. I don't really love them. That's just something. I mean, remember when you did love. the ring a ding ding? I'm still ding, here. Ding, ding, ding. I'm sorry. <laughs> good night, chump. <laughs> what are you doing? A Chris Wiley show impression back there? What are you saying? All right. What I do? I didn't say. I didn't do it. Remember, in Tom Goes to the Mayor, you guys had your ring a ding ding dance. Yeah. That's nice. I just thought that, that's a nice memory. That's a my my reference to Chris Farley show. Oh, where he says, "Remember that? Remember the time?" Well, I, I uh -huh. for, that's like so long ago. I forgot about it, and then at the last second, I remembered that, and I thought you guys would maybe you've worked together. I don't want to go down memory lane with him. Why not? <laughs> I mean, look at fuck him. You can talk about New Greek Gingrich. Fuck him. <laughs> like fuck him. Like, at the time, I get, I'll give you this, Doug. Uh, at the time, it was a get. Michael Ian Black was a get. Yeah. But now he's a fucking Hail Mary. Mistakes. <laughs> like last, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, listen, oh. folks, please. Can we just, can we just uh, send love and, and peace to Michael and, and say, of course, that was all in good fun. It's Bro. not pot, it's a clove cigarette. That was all in good fun. I love Michael and hope he's... He's, we're playing. This is, it's playtime. We were, we were honored that he would call it. The bit of all bits, favorite folks. But th what's happening now in the show. Oh, I mean, oh, Matt, no, this show is on, do. this show is on methamphetamines. I oh, knew today would be a very good one. Um, because in studio, we've got a uh, very special musical guest, Tim Bernardes. Hello there. He's here. And I don't know if you folks out there are familiar with him. If you are, then you're already excited. If you're not, you're about to get rock hard <laughs> or wet, depending on your Now I'm getting excited. Gender. I don't know. That's, sorry about that. Oh, can, but, we, can we dump that so I'm going to go back? Yeah, we can, re, we can go back and fix that. We'll fix that later. Um, Tim, what song are you playing for us today? I'm going to play a song called Levy. Levy. Yes. Because what we do here is levity. Humor. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Levy in, in Portuguese would be light. Light. Like light. something that is yes. light. Yeah. Now, is, uh, you, you are from Brazil. Yes, I'm from Brazil. And uh, is that me? Oh, that this is my this is my issue. It's really uh -oh. interesting. It's only when the you guitar is. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, fine. Yeah, I'm yeah, just gonna yeah. pretend. I'm your it's, issue. Huh? Probably. You are the issue with yeah. all these pedals down here. Yeah. Um, it's weird. It feels like it's, it, it basically feels like there's a, dr a constant drop going on in the back of my head, <laughs> which is just, <laughs> but, uh, is this song in Portuguese? Yes. All the songs are in Portuguese. Luckily I speak the language fluently and we'll yes, be able to understand the lyrics. And, um, we're going to hear Levy from Tim and then, uh, we'll take a, our usual quick, uh, break and be back with more. Talk to Tim. We're going to talk a lot about Richard Dreyfus on Bill Maher. And your Zooms, we're finally going to get back to talking to the audience here. So, Tim, take it away. Cool. Leve, leve, muito à vontade agora. Noite quente, sente o vento lá fora. Liberdade. Paz no coração Leve, leve Não chora mais agora Tudo a salvo 
Respira fundo e olha Vai com calma Vai de coração Até porque Deixar pra trás Pode ser Andar pra frente Tanto fez Se tanto faz Vai em paz E vai contente Leve, leve Já não dói mais tão fundo Desapegue Solta o peso do mundo Mãos tão gastas Não segure mais uh, 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 uh. Até porque Pode ser andar pra frente Tanto fez e tanto faz Vai em paz e vai contente Até porque deixar pra trás Pode ser andar pra frente tanto fez e tanto faz Vai em paz e vai contente uh, Ah, I lost in the music, Maron All right, folks Beautiful, beautiful. Thank Lovely. you. We love it. People are flipping at home and at work. We'll be back. Join patreon.com slash office hours live to catch the rest of the day.